It's like 8 a.m. We both just got up. Our roommates, I think, got both of us up. They definitely got me up at like 8 o'clock. Wait, you know what time is it? It's 9 o'clock. Yeah, they got us up at like 8. Um, but now the hostel's empty. We'll probably start getting ready in a few minutes and then start our day. I guess now I can give a overview of what the hostel's like now that there's not two people in it. I was like, let me not record. So you come down the hallway and you come in. You've got two beds, this little mirror. They give you these little locker closet things. Then you have bunk beds and the bathroom. So I slept in this bed, someone from Germany was in this one, and Kyle was on the top bunk, your little desk and chair, and then you have the window. But that's our hostel room. <gasps> Kyle, a cat! It's time to head out. Of Rome. <laughs> so much like fresh grass. Yeah, wow. Oh, wild. it looks like it was just... <laughs> oh, it was just cut. <laughs> it smells like it. But we are at the Coliseum, so that's fun. <sighs> it's very pretty. I wonder what it would be like to be here. Like, you know, here, yeah. Right? I think we're in line to go into the Coliseum now. <laughs> the birds?
we're currently in the Coliseum. We've taken some pictures. I got some good ones of me, some good ones of Kyle. Um, we're at the part where you can like see inside the Coliseum from like the second floor. And now we're over by this, which overlooks a big arch and in the direction of the Roman forums. But it's really pretty. Very crowded though. I didn't really expect it to be any less crowded though. I feel like any very popular tourist destination like this would be exactly how it is. We walked around it once, and then we walked around it a second time, then we were trying to find the exit, and it had us walk around it an entire other time instead of just saying to go like this. We had to go like this. So, but now we're almost out. We're on the first floor again, at least. And then we're gonna go to the Roman Forum, and then we're gonna go get pizza. Then we're gonna go back to the hostel, hopefully, and get another SD card because I accidentally filled the one I had on me, so. too bad of a walk but we have tickets to go to the Roman Forum that line is crazy long though so frankly I just don't know if it's worth it when like we have other things in Rome we want to see so we might just get our pictures with the exterior of the Colosseum and then go get pizza before getting another SD card from the hostel and then continuing our sightseeing in Rome done with the Colosseum and we're not doing the Roman forums so we are now on our way to go get pizza now that we have all of our pictures taken care of. and then we're gonna walk back to the hostel and get like our stuff before we continue on. Are you happy you just got your pizza? <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> just cut out all that, all that in the one I'm just... <laughs> it's like, I'll keep it just to show what this trip is like. <laughs> this is the authentic trip, Kyle. These are our pizzas. So good, this restaurant is so cute. Why was I expecting more? <laughs> I feel illegal picking it up. I'm like, oh. so we just paid for our food and I'm like oh my gosh I forgot like a lot of other countries is not you don't tip and so it was like weird I felt like rude like no no like let's leave a tip let's leave a tip and then Kyle points out the fact that 
the tax also wasn't on there because they already include the tax in the price instead of here's the price now add the tax and then don't forget to tip like why do we make it so much more complicated than that so it's like we could have just looked at the menu and like added up our items and like that would have been the total no tax no tip the tax is included and you don't tip here $29 exactly not more that's that's crazy anyways yeah so are we going back to the hostel now so we're gonna grab some souvenirs go back to the hostel and then see what the game plan is from there we got our new room bathroom again much bigger this time This is our room. Two bunk beds. And walk right up to the window. Nice. I just took everything out of my bag and put it in our locker <laughs> so that I could carry the backpack around Rome without the weight. Kyle's chilling on the phone. The weather is beautiful. We're charging up our devices and then we're heading back out. But we hopefully want, even if we can't have this set of bunk beds, we're hoping to at least have one of the sets instead of like half and half like we did yesterday. That way Kyle doesn't have to worry about shaking the bed like he did last night. Because when you move it rattles the bottom bunk and he felt bad because it was a stranger. Explain yourself. Myself? Explain yourself. Explain myself? I told you to get the tickets. I told you I wasn't going there and that you had to get the tickets yourself. That's not what you said. For the Sistine Chapel? No. Yeah. You said we could get them when we were there. Yeah. Then we find out they close in five minutes so I can't even go to the Sistine Chapel now. Also, it's the anniversary of the Pope being elected today so apparently it's a public holiday in the Vatican. <sighs> Anyways, off to the Pantheon. So Kyle is, oh, my phone. Kyle is going <laughs> down to the street so he can take my picture like in the window. <laughs> He's such a good big brother. I told him, I'm like, I feel like that'd be a good picture. He's like, do you want me to go take it? And I was like, yes. <laughs> Slave, maybe he just feels Maybe he feels a little bad because I can't go to the Sistine Chapel now, but I doubt it. Kyle doesn't feel that often, but he is nice occasionally. My photographer. <laughs> Metro right now, but everybody is like running. And oh my gosh, we are, we are like <laughs> what five or six stories down now into the ground. Kyle was telling us that, and by us, I mean Kyle was telling me that um, they had to dig like the stations like so deep because like Rome has built on top of itself so many times that when they wanted to dig like the stations they had to go through a bunch of artifacts so it's just like really deep <laughs> like we've gone down like five of these it just keeps going yeah it's uh definitely a little crowded <laughs> <laughs> to get in this train. I just don't like how crowded it is. Right next to the tracks. Like I feel like that's like a hazard waiting to happen. I love you. This is like a unique experience. I feel like New York City on New Year's Eve again. Really like this? Yes. This is how it was getting through like all of Times Square. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Escalator number one. Yeah, let's document how long it takes to get to the top. We have from the bottom. 
Okay, so that one wasn't nearly as deep, but the first one was crazy deep. Okay. Anywho, we're now walking to the Pantheon. We just made a quick pit stop. I can't show what I got because it's a gift for Emily and I know you watch all my videos. So you'll have to wait until I get back. But I think this is gonna be her, your uh, favorite souvenir. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> no, I'm doing it really <laughs> Those are some big pillars. Oh, oh those are pillars. <laughs> oh my god, I almost stepped no, on you. Poor boy. Look at those. What is this? It looks fancy. <laughs> Wow. Now we are leaving the Pantheon. And we are walking to the Spanish Steps, which is our final sightseeing location in Rome. Because we walked by the Trevi Fountain, we came to the Pantheon, we've already seen the Colosseum, and now we're going to the Spanish Steps, and we're not going to the, Colos uh, the uh, Sistine Chapel anymore, so that's it. And then we'll go get pasta for dinner, and then we'll head back to the hostel. And that'll be our day in Rome. Can't say you can't do it in a day. <laughs> Rome may not have been built in a day, but our plans sure were. <laughs> stop at a chocolatier but we made it to the Spanish Steps our last sightseeing location in Rome now I'll take some pictures and then we'll head back to the metro or something or a bus or something and then we'll go eat some some pasta and then um, get ready to go to bed okay pictures are complete they do not let you sit on those stairs. They like blew their whistle at like three or four different people while we were there, like telling them to get up because they weren't allowed to sit there. Kyle's like, they just let you sit there as they walked right by. I'm like, well, I think they could actively see I was posing for a picture. So I feel like they weren't about it. I feel like if I was there any longer, they wouldn't have been thrilled. But then this guy came up to me and he was like asking me to take a picture, but I didn't hear him at first because I thought he was like another person trying to like or sell stuff to you, so I was trying to ignore him. But then I uh, heard him say picture, and I was like, oh yeah, no, I, I can take a picture for you guys. But now we're going to the train, so. We have to have to go up the stairs. Oh, <laughs> we have to go back up the stairs to go to the train. <laughs> Back at the train station. My lips are so chapped. I just told Kyle I thought this said anti pasta, and I was like, I thought we were pro pasta in Italy. You know, it's funny because pasta is often on the anti pasta list. Is it really? <laughs> The worker just walked up to me and went, 
Excuse me, miss, you have a very nice perfume. Like, can I ask you where it's from? And I'm like, it's just strawberry pound cake from Bath and Body. Oh my god. Confirm my story. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> that was the main real So, we also switched seats because we were by the door and I was so cold, I kept rubbing my arms. So, the waitress offered for us to move to another table. So, that was really nice. But we're still waiting on the pasta because they said that something happened with their computer and so our orders can go through. So, they're working on it now. But that's okay. No rush, we're just hungry. Our food just got here. Are you excited? What? Are you excited? Oh yeah. I'm gonna eat it. I also can't wait to eat it. Okay, dinner is done. We are now trekking back to the hostel. Um, I just know the streets of Italy these days. I don't even need a GPS. I'm like, Kyle, I got it. <laughs> I'm like, I know where we are. <laughs> so we'll go back to the hostel. I need a shower tonight because we have to wake up at like 3.30 a.m. So ask if they have towels. Yeah, we do need to ask that. Um, but we have to get up at like 3.30 in the morning so we can take the bus to the airport and then take our flight back to Paris. We are just destined to never feel well rested in the country of France. <laughs> but <clears throat> tomorrow will be our last like real day in um, the EU because then Friday we go to Iceland and that will be the longest part of our trip. So I'm very excited. And our hotel in Iceland is apparently like really nice. So uh, wait for that one. <laughs> oh, I got it out right as the sound was missing. Listen Kyle, the Italian bell. <laughs> but it stopped right when I could get my phone out. <sighs> Roman bell. <laughs> Sounds so Italian. <laughs> Rings in Italian in the subtitles. <laughs> Why are you ringing it so much? It's been like 30 seconds. My goodness. The street our hostel is on. <laughs> Back to home sweet home. <laughs> also, once you leave the lobby, come up these stairs. And at first. This way. <laughs> 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 